Is February already too late to say, hey, we start a new year? Yeah, guess I'm late. To the surprise of absolutely no one. Oh well, I'm a busy doctor. Sue me. We've started a new year and we already have some pretty interesting trailers for upcoming horror movies. So I decided to list the ones that, so far, have piqued my interest the most. Now, I don't mean that if a movie is not on this list, then I think it'd be awful or whatever. It's just that the trailer or the premise didn't catch my attention that much, you know. Also, I know I might be late with this topic. Hell, by the time this video is finished, some of those movies might have been released already. But, hey, as I said, I've been a little busy lately. So, forgive me? The Boogeyman. Oh, it's different kink adaptations. They can be either great or horrible. It's difficult to find the one that stands in between. The sun? It looks like to belong in the great category. The Boogeyman is a short story that was published in a magazine in 1973. Yes, this is actually older than Carrie. It's also one of the tales that appear in the Night Shift book. A man called Lester Billings tells a psychiatrist about a monster that Billings believes has killed his three children. While I enjoy it, I was not sure what kind of movie could be made with it. Well, they extended the story, added some characters, and I think it worked. We have a family dealing with a tragic loss while also being haunted by a supernatural entity that only the little girl and her older sister can see. <laughs> so old! The trailer has some scenes that really give the sensation of the creature closing in on the family, so I hope the movie will have a similar atmosphere. Also, the trailer didn't spoil the entire freaking movie, so you know. Bonus! Winnie the Pooh. Blood and Honey. Apparently something becoming public domain means you have the right to fuck with it. I'll be honest, the main reason why I want to watch this movie is... Well... This is one of those ideas that are just so weird that you have to check it out. Kinda like Claw or Tusk. Basically, it is about an adult Christopher Robin returning to the acres with his girlfriend, only to find that Winnie the Pooh and Piglet are... not as friendly and cuddly as he remembers, to say the least. Yes, my first reaction was, what on earth are you smoking? I think this will be sort of camp, maybe following the old idea of cannibals in the woods. Look, you have masked killers, an isolated house, and even a bunch of characters that exist only to be chased down or murdered. Tell me you haven't heard this before and I ask, have you been living under a rock? Now, I mentioned the Claw and Tusk. Well, while those movies turn out to be good, I don't think the same applies here. At least... Not in the same sense. I mean, come on, Winnie and Piglet are just men wearing masks. You could have at least made them similar to Lovecraftian monsters or something. But again, I'm just too curious to let it pass. So, points for that, I suppose? Skin Amarink. I know it has been released already. I know people have already talked about it. But guess what? I don't care, okay? I haven't even avoided any spoilers and I'm planning on watching it this week. From what I've got is about two children who wake up to find that their father has disappeared. Also, their house no longer has any windows. And I thought the house from House of Leaves was a place I didn't want to visit. To be honest, while I love the way the trailer looks, I am sure how the movie will be. It seems to be aiming for a noir, minimalist, nightmarish-like style, and those are not the easiest to handle. Trust me, I've seen people trying to do it, and the final product was either obnoxious or embarrassing. But, like I said, the trailer looks good, and the idea is awesome. This certainly has the potential to be amazing. Not only that, but the trailer also reminds me of some horror video games, like Layers of Fear. And we all remember the images that stayed with us after that one. Cuckoo. The movies from this point on are not that easy to talk about because we have no trailers yet and very little info. Cuckoo is one of them. 
I know it's about a family who moves to a resort that apparently is not what appears to be. I think this premise alone has potential, and I admit, the title also makes me wonder what sort of movie we get. Considering how cuckoos leave their eggs in the nests of other birds and how the cuckoo chicos will push the eggs out of those nests, and how the adoptive bird parents never realize what's going on, damn Mother Nature has some horror stories of her own. So yes, it's basically the general setup and the title. What can I say? Sometimes it's the little things that get me. VHS 85 Those movies always have at least one segment that I enjoy, and even the others tend to be at least a little interesting, even if I don't like them very much. So I already know this won't be a waste of time. Besides, the frame stories are usually a nice touch too. I'm curious to see what you'll be this time around. Sailing Slot Another movie based on a story by Stephen King. I think everyone knows about this plot, right? A writer named Ben Mears moves back to his childhood town of Jerusalem Slot and finds out that a vampire, Barlow, is infecting the population. And this is an actual vampire, guys, not a mutated mistake of nature. Mears joins forces with some of the townsfolk and they try to stop Barlow. While I don't think it's one of the scariest novels by King, Sailing Slot is still one of my favorites. As far as I'm concerned, the TV series with Robbie Lowy and Donald Sutherland is the best adaptation. But that doesn't mean I think others should be made. But I admit, I don't think we'll ever get a more perfect Barlow than Hutcher Hauer. Shelby Oaks I've been excited ever since I heard the remake in this movie. It's based on the web series Paranormal Paranoids, which I love. A girl, Jess, find some stuff on her old laptop about a group of YouTubers called Paranormal Paranoids. They were amateur ghost hunters who would check strange locations and things like that. Strangely, they just stopped posting one day. Seeing the photos and saved videos brings all the nostalgic feels, so Jess reaches out on the internet, asking if anyone knows what happened. You know, just old curiosity and all. A mysterious person responds and... Well, what do you think happens? Between cryptic answers, strange visuals of the group, hauntings, it's pretty clear something bad happened to those guys. Several people have talked about the series, like Nightmind, Call Me Phantom, and others. And why not? It's really well made. Rather than a random fan, the movie will follow Mia, the sister of the leader of the paranormal paranoids, Riley. Other than that... I couldn't find that much info. But I really like the series and I wanted to see a movie based on it. I know some previous attempts of this kind were... less than pleasant. But I think Shelby Walks will have more luck. Well guys, that's it. What do you think? Will those movies be good or do they look like crap? Also, have you watched any horror movies released this year? Do you have any recommendations? Please tell me, I would love to hear about it. See you the next time everyone, stay safe.